What is a Perfect 100 IQ Club? It's Dakar here with yet another banger of a game. We're already into the action. My team is cheesing the hell out of these guys. The Shaco started Q, jumped over behind the red, and then they, they saw Cass and like got to catch her. Shame I wasn't recording in that time so you guys could see it, but uh, this is some disgusting cheese. I really don't do anything in this game. Like You'll, you'll see. But uh, I just thought it'd be really funny to, to watch and comment on this. So, you saw Heck got muscled off of his red side. He already got caught, right? So, we know that Heck, it, because of that Shake Award, see that on the map? We know that Heck did not cross down to his red side, so he's on his way to his blue. So, what is Shaco doing right now? Shaco got, has Halo Blades. He is Shaco, and that is Hecarim, who doesn't really have any tools. Boom! Flash uh, Ignite, and Heck dies again. So now he's going to respawn in six seconds, then he's going to walk back, and that ward is still alive in his base. So we're going to see where he ends up going. So I'm looking to go help the Shaco here, if necessary. We're watching. You stare at the map here. Notice the, uh, the Heck has not crossed. He shouldn't have gone straight to the blue here. Did it again. There it is. <laughs> oh my god. He's 0-3 at 242. And so his team, you know, they're just like, dude, just play safe. Bro, play safe. Hackern, what are you doing? You're going to lose me my elo, bro. Play safe, bro. What are you doing? It's too funny, man. He can't do anything here, bro. He, he literally can't do anything. Get my stackies here. And I just keep messing with him. Steals. I got all those Raptor last hits. And then what is what is this guy doing? What is the Aatrox doing? What was that? I gotta walk to this. So the rat or the wolves are still up. He gets to walk over there. Shaco's on his way. I don't think Shaco reaches it in time, but it's worth watching. But again, th this is three and a half minutes. He has zero camps. <laughs> Finally, enemy team rotated to him, and I think that was a little low value. If he did stop or slow the heck on the wolves here, I think that's a little low value. I don't think he needed to go for that that one last time. I think he uh, probably should have gone and like tried to get more XP. Go, go bot and just start getting your XP, you know. Of course, this is also so looking at Shaco's uh, team, right? The bot lane is Ezreal. Oh my god, Heck walks in, tries to find it. It's like, dude, you... So I had... Uh, that was really dumb of him. But, I don't know. What is his other option? He could go, like, leech the team? I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. I think Scuttle's up. He could have taken Scuttle. Um, he knows the timer on my clear here. I, I did red first, and I did bot quadrant, which means my, my Krugs cannot be up. So that was kind of really bad on his part. Um, but yeah, for the Shaco, this is a really good setup for him to be doing this, this crazy cheese, right? Because, um, we have a, an Ezreal bot lane, and Ezreal is super self, uh, self-reliant, right? Like, he's, he's a really good champion to low econ, to, like, let him just 2v1. Because he can just throw his Qs and get the last hits, he can just play safe, he's got his E for the safety, he's got it all, but yeah. I am so ahead off of this game state, dude. Like, this this Shaco start is, like, such a freaking... It's just a dream scenario. And uh, obviously, if your Hecarim is not a dream, this is a nightmare. This guy wants to die playing this shit. Kill that, walk away. I don't really want to leech too hard here, though. Because, uh, remember, I'm jungle, so if I leech, I reduce the XP that the team gets. Kill pink ward. I'm hanging on to my stacks here, because I saw Rakan moving. And then I turn back, go back on it. I also didn't have my smite. So, like, let's say Rakan, Lucian, rotate there. I'm kind of screwed, so I don't want to do that. Got level 6 at 6 minutes. I use ult, and I am perfectly content using it just to contest this. I, I don't care about uh, 
having like a perfect ult and kill, get two kills or something, right? Boom! Oh my god. He got too close! He got too close, dude! So I got lethal tempo. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention lethal tempo earlier. Because it was like, the game started instantly, right? Because I failed to record earlier. But, lethal tempo is really good against Hecarim. Because he wants to do like a long, sustained fight. It's either lethal tempo or conk. But I really prefer the lethal tempo because his range and mobility is going to have him like kind of moving around weaving autos in he has nine cs and five deaths at six minutes oh my god i'm up 50 cs right now this guy was not allowed to play the game all shake yeah that's me saying like this is lit i've done basically nothing except like just farm efficiently that is all i've done right here i just stick to the script let my support do his thing and then once i was beefed up once i was level three I went for that that proper invade, right? Put the pink there because he already he was bold enough to walk into my jungle one time, so we'll keep it down there. This is just too funny, dude. I, this is like <clears throat> there was a uh, either staged or just like super low elo game that I saw once on uh, on like TikToks and shit. This is near identical to that. Maybe the maybe the heck in that video, the little clips was just like silver or something, because the movement was a little it was a little sussy, not map movement wise. He, the guy was just trying to farm, but like I mean, clicking his buttons. Or maybe he's tilted. Maybe he's just he's jungler and junglers have the lowest APM in the game. Who knows? I am level seven. He is level four. I have a Dirk Warhammer. I used R here. I thought he would move, but. Yeah, see, he's, uh, it's like a damned if you do, damned if you don't. Wherever he goes, basically just needs, like, is required to be not where I am. And if he makes the wrong choice, he just gets to die. He gets gobbled up, right? He gets glock glocked. Boom, get that. Yeah, was he, like, on Rift? Yeah, go, no, I think he was on Rift, man. Going for Rift there is the worst choice, though. I, see, I thought right here he goes to the Wolves, you know? Let's go to my go to my top side, try to steal camps or something. I've got 900 gold. I've got my uh, Mythic. Because this is a heavy map movement game, notice what I buy. I don't usually buy this, right? Not on Rengar. I don't always buy the, the Ghost Blade right now. Especially if I don't have fleet. No fleet, no... Um... What is it? Hail Blades or... First Strike, any of those. I don't value the, go the Ghost Blade as much, right? Because Ghost Blade is usually like... I go Ghost Blade and Axiomark or Ghost Blade... Prowler's Axiom Arc and try to just spam ults, right? But because of the game circumstance here, where the Shaco has completely taken Heck out of the game and made it where it's like basically a farm game for me, Yumu's Ghost Blade is the best farming item. We saw Heck walk away, so we know this is free. I don't, I don't need Smite, and even if I like, even without Smite, I don't care. I challenge this. Like, I challenge everything that I that I'm available to do. And see that? I don't just run to the rift and start it. I steal his camp, and then I start it. Because I know he took the... Uh, I know he just took the raptors, because Shaco or somebody warded up, right? So we knew that the raptors aren't up. So now what I can do... Take the rift, and then move to other camps. I don't really care about taking the crux here. There's a pig. I don't care about taking the Krugs here, because it's just one camp. If it was Raptors plus Krugs, then I could path that way. Like, I could happily path that way. But it's not, so I don't really care about going over there. Also, we didn't have, like, a really good dive set up for her. So I couldn't move on the flank. Mm, he's pulling the trigger. Here we go. And I have Yumu's... <laughs> 11 minutes, like... 
I do so much d uh, damage to this turret. He doesn't really take the turret that quickly. Here's one thing, like, I really, really, really do not like top lane rift a lot of the time, but this is four plates immediately, and then I get to go take the, uh, the Krugs right after. And he's not a champion who gets, like, he's not Trundle or something, who's gonna take the turret on his own without that little bit of help. So I am creating the gold here. I am creating this turret take, these plate takes, but that's like just the rationale. That's the logic. And see this? The Swifties. This is for the mobility. Just get around the map. Also because <clears throat> Cassiopeia will go Riley's usually. Uh, Swifties are also really good up against the Aatrox. His little... Um, I forget the name of the ability. But the little scoopy one. Got my item set up here. And I don't want to, like, face check into him. I am... I might be fed, but I'm just damage, right? Like, I'm a, I'm a glass cannon right now. So I can't really afford to just mindlessly go in. And I don't have my fleet footwork, which gives me, or would give me, a little more defensive capability, right? So I gotta be patient when I move around in these, like, uh, in the tri brush there and stuff like that. I swear the timing on those on those plants is like just absurd. Where people will, ninety percent of the time, freaking kill the plant right as I'm about to jump. I swear, dude. I don't know where these guys are. I should have clicked R. We swept it up. We got it all covered. <clears throat> we uh, I think Shaco had the same idea I did. We both thought they recall, you know, because like. They had the wave, they hit the bounce, they walked away, they fully walked away, but no, they didn't. Watch this. Isn't this a mind blower? Dude, they cheesed the hell out of this Ezra. <laughs> also, he's a dumbass, like, what was that? You're so terrible, bro. <coughs> like, where's he going? He just ran, he... I guess they all, they, not only did they cheese him by tricking him, but they cheesed him by freaking mind controlling him into the freaking turret. There we go, walk away now. He ulted out, so I just take the L. I, I spent flash to get his uh get his ult. We got the blue two, I guess. So we stole a camp, which is roughly 400 XP differential. 400 XP because I get the 200 and he loses the 200, right? So plus or minus, or plus and minus 200. I'm not gaining 200, but effectively the team difference is that much. Also, I got a whole tab. Ah, uh, he has. I think I just saw 20 stacks on his uh, jungle item. I have finished my jungle item. We kill that. Ooh, save, save me! Now see, this is where the uh, the dust blade would be better, the eclipse would be better, like the dueling potential. Though. But it's okay. Very good job, Mr. Clyde and Scroll. Here's a recurve bow. I don't know what that's gonna turn into for the clid. I just get more AD, more AD. Now, I'm thinking maybe Dirk plus Tiamat would have been uh, more than enough on the clear, you know? I don't know. Because I'm not seeing all the value on Earth from, from the universe right now, current meta. Certain matchups, certain lanes... Or, uh, lanes. Certain enemy team comps, like, really, really squishy. Yeah, you could go Yumus. But right here, I don't think so. Especially since I have, uh, Lethal Tempo. Lethal Tempo, generally, I prefer Eclipse. Free Eclipse, or even Gore Drinker. Go. We'll fight. Ah, she walked into it. Dude! That's insane, man. That's so crazy. I even tried to target him, but he got his freaking dust blade right there. 
Yeah, Nivia dropped the ball right there. We looking, we prowling. <laughs> what the hell, Shaka? Gotta schmoove back. <clears throat> Shaco did kind of drop the ball towards the mid game here, I will say. It, it was mainly off that one death at the Wolves where he kind of gave he gave away tempo. He gave away like his control that he had over all the uh, early cheese, right? Because that's the point where it, it was basically just free, as opposed to if he were a little more patient. I think he can like. Try to finesse something. Just walk away. Don't have to fight that. Nobody was out of position, so we don't get to kill him. Mm, super bad. I missed my W there. Missed the chance to get the heal. It would it would keep me alive, what, uh, an extra 0.1 seconds or whatever, but still. That was the largest amount of HP there that I could have healed, and I missed it. Yeah, Kled did go Bork. He has Hydra Bork. See that? He went Invis in place. See, that's smart. But uh, I guess it's not that smart, because he does it like every time they try to enter Brush like that. Like, legitimately. Enemy team. Look how, how bad we stomp these guys. But they've got both Drakes right now. They've got both drakes. We've got a control mage, Anivia. She has 90 CS at 18 minutes. Heck did literally nothing. Literally nothing. Kled's doing a great job. I, I misclicked. I remember that. That was fucking shit. Super terrible misclick. Kled did a great job, but the Anivia is kind of, the guy's kind of garbage. <clears throat> don't, don't respect it. Steal this shit. I'm sitting here jerking off, waiting for everything, waiting for the action. Nothing. Walk away. That is a lame part of such a build. The super heavy farm, like the denying, like economy based gameplay. It looks and feels to your teammates like you're doing nothing, but it's like, I am taking everything from this guy. Over and over again. So he's doing nothing as well, you know? But what can you do? We're moving, we're schmoving. I really want to finish that uh, last Whisper component. Just because there's a ton of extra damage. I've already got the Prowler. I've already got my Yumus. Last Whisper would definitely be the best here. God, wish I didn't waste the ult right there at the... There we go. Perfecto mundo. Oh, what's my... Maybe I'd look. My wards? I haven't caught too many wards here. Live Shaco. There we go. There we go. Ah, very lucky timing on the snare there. That I was able to get the stack. <laughs> Stop both these. We can't do anything about it, I just walk away. Lay down rift. Fuck off. Team is pinging the Baron here, so I just I move straight over. Take this, a little free HP. It takes me, what, 1.5 seconds to kill that thing? Imagine Rakan steals that. That would be so sad. Uh, see, the rest of the game is not that much of a banger. It's kind of just like methodical farming, you know? I guess you could learn just map movement from it, but it's like 
the, I, the uh, all the value in my opinion, entertainment-wise, just comes from the fact that Shaco like made uh, Shaco is this Hecarim's father, and it's so funny. Like he was he had nine CS and five deaths at like what was it seven minutes? He legit was not allowed to play the game. And you just know, they're like, this heck freaking sucks, dude! This guy freaking sucks! They don't know the whole story. They don't know that he's just had a demon in his lane, in, in his jungle, the entire fucking game. The literal devil. I should have gone quicker right there. The instant he was uh, showing on that thing, I think I could have one-shot. I should have queued him right there as he ults me. That was lucky that he flashed into the snare. Snare off. Nice. Yeah, that was uh that was pretty lucky on that fight there. Cause I didn't really do everything properly. I'm being a dick here. We we end, but uh, I'm just like having my fun, you know. <laughs> what a funny game. All right, uh, I, I'm sorry this isn't the uh, most like giga banger, I guess. God, 150 CS to. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. Uh, don't forget to leave some comments, whatever you'd like to see in the future, and yeah. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time.